Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to this series on a new and exciting Reverb plugin from Isotope called Neoverb. And in this video, we're going to look at what it is. Now, it's an intelligent reverb that incorporates some AI and a new assistant. And more importantly, it incorporates up to three of the exponential audio algorithms all into a new streamlined and intuitive interface. Now, you may or may not know that Isotope acquired exponential audio a year or so ago, and they're renowned for their fantastic and detailed sounding reverbs. So it's great to see their technology incorporated into the Isotope ecosystem. Neoverb uses a new real-time reverb assistant to get the three initial reverb settings in place quickly. And it's based both on user choices and a real-time analysis of the audio by choosing the reverbs you need by adjusting the sliders. And then you can quickly find the right vibe for your instruments or tracks or buses. You start by fine-tuning the space with the size slider, and it'll quickly adjust all three of the reverbs at once. And it morphs from tight, confined, small spaces to massive arenas and halls. And then you can audition the different parameters that it calculates based on your style choices. There's even a dry wet mix slider right in here. So as you're working in real time, you can make these adjustments in this assistant window. And then you can choose between four options for tone. And again, this is all instantly mixed in. Now, the next page, Neoverb listens to your audio and the assistant performs real-time AI-powered EQ analysis. And the function of that is to clean and unmask the signal so it sits properly against the rest of the mix. We'll look at all this in future videos. Just want to show you around the interface for now. So I'm going to close this. Now, once you get your settings, you can save your final result as a unique preset in the preset manager here. And there's, of course, many presets to choose from and experiment with. But you can save your own based on your own AI analysis. Now, once we've got that done, we can fine tune the reverb settings and create exactly the space we want for vocals or instruments using the blend pad. And this mixes the rooms, plates, and chambers. And you'll see everything's color-coded. We have the early reflections here for the first algorithm. We have plates over here, and we have halls over here. And you can scroll here between different variations of each of these. And here we get the early reflections, and here we get the plates and then the halls, and you just blend by moving the pad around. And we have some macro-type controls for each of these three algorithms here. And to dig in deeper for more advanced use, we have an extended advanced panel with more detailed control for each of the three algorithms. And for those of you who may be familiar with the exponential audio reverbs, you'll recognize some of these controls, but they're more streamlined and intuitive. And we can close the panel like that. Now, there's also an input smoothing knob. We turn it on or off here. And this is used to control or even out the dynamics to avoid unwanted artifacts in the reverb tail. And it's one simple control, and it reduces the sharp, percussive transients in your reverb as you dial it up. And then we have pre-delay over here, of course. And we have a chorus section. We can add movement and shimmer and vibe to the reverb tail with this built-in chorus. And it ranges from subtle all the way to interesting and dynamic reverb tails when you crank it up high. And we can choose between using a pitched modulation or a random modulation. And again, very intuitive XY pad. Now, the pre and post EQs are at the bottom of the interface. And we have auto cut. And again, this is real time. It'll listen to incoming audio and intelligently clean the input signal so it sounds best before adding the reverb. And it listens for areas in your track that might create unwanted resonances in the reverb. And it'll automatically suggest cuts in the pre EQ. And when we're in the post EQ, we have an unmask feature, which again will keep your reverb from overwhelming the original sound. And we use it to have Neoverb listen to your settings and make EQ suggestions to help your final result come through clear in relation to the original signal. And once it's established an EQ curve, there's a little slider to dial in the depth of how much you want the EQ changes applied. And we can turn these on or off, of course, with these buttons over here. Now, when we're in the post mode, we also have a masking meter that we get to over here, and it checks for other tracks in your mix for reverb buildup. And it's really cool. It highlights in here EQ areas you may want to cut from your reverb. 
So the idea is that it works with some of the other isotope plugins that we know and love, like Neutron 3, Nectar 3, Vocal Synth, Relay. And you can select them in other tracks near buses. And as it's playing, you'll see the shaded areas here get darker when there's potential buildup. So you can make your adjustments in your post reverb EQ. Really interesting and useful. And finally, the interface is resizable, so great for fitting on any size screen. So welcome to Neoverb, and I'll see you for more in the next video.